Hello YouTube denizens, David Storm here with Picklocks.com and today I thought I would do a Swick tutorial. It's been a little while since uh, I did the tutorial on this and so a few things have changed, um, notably the L turners. So yeah, let's get started. When you receive Swick, this is how it'll come. You'll have your flat turners on either side, you'll have your L turners packed away in the back and you'll have your blades. Now of course you'll want to take a look at those blades and the way we do that is we use our index finger and thumb to go on either side in these cutouts. We pull like so, so that it is in an L shape like this and then we fan the blades out, the pick blades, and we pick which one we want. In this case I'm going to choose the deforest pick so we'll just choose this one, we'll lay it down using my pinky, I'll push the rest of these back down. I just use my pinky to hold this one out, push these back down. This is now locked in place and held securely by that spring. When I'm done picking, I don't want to use this to try to close it. Again, we go back to the system where we use our index finger and thumb and pull all the blades out at once so that we create that L. And then we bring this blade up to match the rest move our fingers out of the way and snap it back in place. So that's how you take the, that's how you get the blades out. If you have a problem doing that, some people find that very stiff, you can take out the flat turner and use that to do the levering to get those out. So that's a, a bit of a workaround for you if you find that a little too stiff to open. Next, if we want to change those blades out, we've included a a uh, little dowel rod that goes right in this hole right here. So the way we do this, yet again, we go back to the L position. Right now that's depressing the spring and will allow this to go in. If I bring it all the way out like so, I won't be able to get this through the hole. So I have to have it in the L position like this. Now I insert the dowel rod in the hole out the other side so that it's seated like this. Now when I bring the picks in the outright position, you'll notice there's no spring pressure now on that. It's entirely on this little uh, dowel rod. And that allows us to be able to take that apart and change out the blades. So let's do that right now and see how easy this is. So what we're going to do is we have 50 thousandths Allen tools here. We'll just put those on either side and turn this direction here and it comes loose and we will check and see which one we can unscrew. Okay, it's the one on the right it looks like. So now we have that screw out. On the side that we've taken the screw out we take our Allen tool, our Allen wrench, and we push the post out it's a hollow post so that can go right inside there and you can push that out and now our blades are free. We can replace one of the broken blades, we can uh, replace a bent blade or we can just change the order of the picks if they're not in an order that you like. And then when we put this back if we line up this slot right along the bottom in line with that um, you can look down in there and see that spring, if we line it up right along that spring and push in, it will line all of those up for us and we should not have much of a problem getting this back in. Now it's never going to go in perfectly every time, but if you just wiggle it a little bit, you'll see that it just drops right in place, just like that. Now we put our screw back in using our Allen wrench. Go ahead and screw that back down. There we are. And now we'll tighten this up, but we don't want to tighten it too much. We just want to get it snug. So we'll bring this on this side like so. And just snug that up. If we do too much, we can strip the uh, head on the on those uh, screws and we don't want that to happen. Now we bring this back to the L position. This will drop right out. 
we can uh, go ahead and close that and I usually will test one more time just to make sure that everything's tightened because sometimes when you take that out you'd be able to get a little bit more tension on that all right it's pretty good and that's done so that's how easy it is to change the blades out on Swick. Next, we have these turning tools. The last time I did a Swick tutorial, we just had three turning tools, three L-shaped turning tools back here, and we only had a little piece of plastic down in there holding them in. Well, that has changed, obviously. Now we have uh, six turning tools down in here. So as you can see, I'm just using my fingernail to get them past that position right there so that they can come out, just like that. We have a 50 thousandths, a 40 thousandths, and a 30 thousandths, both in top of the keyway turners and in uh, bottom of the key keyway turners. So let me just take a look here and see which one's which. All right, so. This one is the 50 thousandths, the 40 thousandths, and the 30 thousandths. And then this is the 50, the 40, and the 30. So when we we're putting this back together, we want to go with the uh, smallest one, which is the 30 thousandths of the um, top of the keyway. We're going to slide it in on the left, just like that. Now comes the 40 thousandths on the right-hand side, just like that. And then the 50 thousandths goes in along top of the 30 thousandth. So we went 30, 40, 50. Now on the big turners, we're going to reverse that. It's going to be 50, 40, 30. So we're going to put the 50 thousandths on the right hand side, just like this. Snap that in place. Then we're going to go with the 40 thousandths, which will be on the left hand side here. And that snaps in place. And then the 30 thousandths goes in right like so along the top of the 50 thousandths and that also snaps in place and that's how you put the L turners back in so that they fit. Um, it took me a little while to figure out the right order because if you don't do the right order they don't quite fit <laughs> right so um, that's the order you want to go in to replace the L turners so we've covered the uh, pulling out the blades We've covered changing out the blades and how to put back the L turners. So if you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments below. And for picklocks.com, I'm David Storm.